Hey, good morning guys. Hey, you know, over the last couple of years, a lot of my viewers have asked me about what type of holsters I use or what brand or what I would recommend that they use. So just figured, shoot, let's do a holster video today. So I got my son out here. Just a nice, simple video on holsters. So sit back and enjoy. Okay, first thing I want to cover. You know, when you're looking for holsters, you're going to see this right here. OWB. Now, what does that mean? That means outside the waistband. And that's simply a holster like this. has a belt loop, so this is going to sit outside of your pants or your shorts, and it's going to look like this. Okay, IWB, that's inside the waistband, and that's going to be a holster like this here. This is going to fit between your skin or preferably a t-shirt and this is going to be on the outside and this is going to clip over your belt and it's going to look like this all right let's talk about material what are holsters made out of well you can get a nice leather holster like this galco now, if you're gonna if you're gonna carry a two or three pound pistol on your hip, I strongly suggest you get a good heavy duty leather belt. The one I use is made by Custer Custom Leather. Check them out; I highly recommend them. You can get a holster made out of Kydex, um, injected polymer, and you can get them made out of nylon. So let me show you a couple ways how you're going to carry a pistol in a holster. Now this one here, obviously, you're just going to wear this. This is an outside the waistband holster. You're going to put your belt through the loops here and snug it up against your body. And the same with this one here. It's got a belt loop. These work very well. Now if you want to carry concealed, you might consider an inside the waistband, like this one here. And you've already seen how that one goes on and comes off. You know what I really like though is a, is a good paddle holster. And of course it has this big paddle here and this is going to fit in between your body and your shorts or your pants and it's just going to slip in and I'll tell you what these are very easy to put on. And they're also very easy to take off. I'll tell you what, I, I have, I don't know, five or six paddle holsters. And I'll tell you what, I just really like this design. So if I'm going to carry outside, it's usually going to be a paddle holster. If it's inside, it's going to be one similar to this. Now I do have this little kel P11. I don't have a holster for this, but... I do have a little belt clip mounted to it. This is an aftermarket uh, device. And uh, basically you're just going to replace these two screws and slap this on. Make sure you use Loctite on these screws, otherwise they will come loose. But that just slips right in your pants and snaps onto your belt. Very effective. Okay, what if you work armed security and you want something uh, for your duty belt? Well, this type here works very well. This has a little locking device. I'm going to unlock this, open this up, put it on my belt, latch it, hit that little lock again, and on there very sturdy, very tight, and it's not going to come off and works very well for security or police officers. All right, let's take a look at some brands here that I have. This is a uh, nice leather holster made by Galco. And as you can see, it fits my Glock 19. I tell you what, I love Galco holsters. This one has a thumb brake on it. And of course, it's an outside the waistband. Hit that thumb brake and bam, you can draw pretty quick. 
And here's a uh, Bianchi nylon holster. It's also a thumb brake. And this one here made by CYA. Really like this brand. I have three of their holsters. And one reason I like it, it's very well made and it has two adjustment screws on it. A lot of these only have one screw. So you can actually fine tune this one a little better. And I have this holster here made by DeSantis. Now this type of holster you really have to be careful. You, you want to stay away from the really cheap ones. And the reason for that is when you draw your pistol and you have this uh, mounted inside the waistband, when you draw that holster is going to completely close up and it's going to make it very difficult to reholster. But that's what I like about this DeSantis. It has this band around it which keeps the holster open so it's going to be easy to reholster if I ever have to draw my pistol out. All right here's another Bianchi nylon holster. Tell you what a lot of security officers use this brand and actually so do a lot of police officers and here's another one for another my actually for my other 1911 this is a Ruger uh, SR 1911. Absolutely love this little beauty. But this holster here, handmade leather, actually made in uh, Turkey, made by a uh, mask. Great paddle holster. I actually wear this one quite a bit. You know what, let's try that again. Yeah. Son, you're up. Okay, the pistol that I carry almost every day is my little SIG uh, P365. Absolutely love this little guy. And I always carry it inside the uh, waistband and I use a CYA holster. Okay, Phobos. I actually own a couple of these holsters, really like them, very well made, actually made in Israel. I mean just an absolute perfect fit and both of mine are paddle holsters and they just snap right in. What it does, it, it opens up the trigger guard right here and it snaps around the trigger guard you'll, as you'll see right here. So this one is non-adjustable. Actually, a lot of people complain that these are a little too tight, and it is pretty tight. So the solution is, Phobos also makes a holster that is adjustable. You hear that? That goes in nice and smooth, and comes out nice and smooth. I don't have a problem with this one, but it is an option if you want one that uh, is adjustable. Alright, the next one. This is a nice little holster made by Forged Tech Holsters. and But very well made. You know, they're inexpensive. Just a simple holster, but you know what? They work very well. Got the double adjustments here. Fits extremely nice. Look at that. So I have one for the uh, Taurus uh, G3C and I also have one of these for my Taurus TX22. Good little holster there. And this holster here is made by Cytac and it is a Injected polymer holster, very well made. Again, another paddle holster. This one uses a finger release, and we'll talk about that here in a moment. 
and tell you what very well made I wouldn't hesitate to buy another one. Oh, by the way this is a, a Walther PPQ 22 all right next I have my Smith & Wesson shield one of the most popular pistols in this country and I have two holsters for this again another CYA and I also have a very nice DeSantis leather holster really like this holster they're inexpensive nice outside the waistband belt holster and look at that just absolutely love this little holster all right the last one here is a holster a paddle holster as you can see made by safari land and this one fits my sig P226 and yes I'm going to show this off a little bit look at it made in West Germany in 1989 absolutely love this one guys so you know what let's talk about retention okay you're a police officer law enforcement security you want to have a secured weapon so somebody can't grab it we've already taken a look at the thumb brake which is a very popular design in this country Again, just hit that with your thumb and you can draw your pistol out. Another popular design is this type right here. Now this pistol is locked in. To unlock it, I just hit that with my trigger finger and it comes right out. Very quick and uh, very smooth. There's a lot of controversy with this type of release on a holster. Apparently there's been some cases where somebody under stress has drawn their pistol and they've come out put their finger on a trigger and had an AD or accidental discharge so if you're going to use this type of pistol make sure you practice a lot with an unloaded pistol Safari Land. I, I like this system here. This has a little thumb tab right here and this is locked in by the way. To unlock it I just hit that tab and she comes right out. Just like that. Locks in pretty good. Pops out nice and smooth. Very good system that uh, Safari Land has come up with. Man, it is warm out here. Tell you what, I wish I was home swimming right now. Oh well, maybe later. times. If you buy a holster for a specific pistol, make sure you only use that pistol in that holster, okay? And let me give you a very good example of why that's very important. Now this the Santa's holster made for my shield is a perfect fit okay got an adjustment screw here nice snug fit perfect now if I take my stick P365 guess what it also fits in there it's a little loose but I could tighten this up and get a nice snug fit and BAM I got another holster for my SIG right wrong let me show you why that's not a good idea put my shield back in here take a look at the magazine release okay it is completely uncovered by the leather and that's what you want if I put my SIG back in look at that now 
the leather partially covers that. Now why is that a bad idea? Because if I have this up against my uh, my body nice and snug and if I move just the wrong way man I'm gonna release that magazine and it might fall out I might not even know it. That would not be a good situation to be in if I don't have a magazine in my pistol because it popped out okay. So please if you have a specific holster for a specific pistol Make sure you only use that pistol in the holster. All right, guys, we're going to hang it up. It's a little warm out here. Tell you what, invest in a good holster, and hopefully I was able to answer some of your questions. But you know what? We really appreciate you guys watching our video. And we'll see you guys next time.